Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I Someone's in regret. You know, when this this is action usually, a lot of swift action coming, but I feel like um, this person is like hearing a lot about you. I don't know if you've posted something online because this can be online communication as well. Um, or maybe you two are talking online. I feel like there's either been some communication or um, you, they've seen something that you've put online. Okay? Um, social media, whatever platform you have. It's got this person so burdened. What is this? Um, so I feel like... Yeah, look, whatever they're hearing or finding out about, it's got them really burdened. I'm hearing the word today, so maybe this is what they're going through today. You could have posted something on social media last night, or they could have found out about something about you last night, and now today they're like in this kind of energy, because I feel like this person was getting ready to approach you, and now they feel like they can't. They're in a whole lot of regret. They're very, very burdened. Yeah, this person thought about this all night long. Yeah, it was something that they found out about yesterday or last night or it was something that you posted on social media or on the internet um, last night. It had them up all night. Whatever this is, it had them up all night. And all they did was think about this. Or this could be like, maybe a, maybe you two could have been messaging back and forth. And they were rereading your messages or re-watching whatever you were doing on social media. I don't know. I feel like it had this person bugging all night. Okay? <laughs> whatever this is, it's really got them triggered. Now today, right? I keep hearing the word today. Today, um, they're extremely exhausted, okay? Um, they're concentrating heavy on what they found out about last night, okay? I don't know what this is, but I feel like it kept them up all night. Yeah, look, something was exposed, and I feel like it was on social media. Maybe they saw you being very happy, okay? And it's got this person wrecked. All right, what can you show me? What is this that was exposed? That you're getting your scale, that um, you're getting your life balanced out? I feel like because you're getting your justice, this person is heartbroken because you're getting your justice. What is this? There could be some kind of legal case, too, going on with the justice card out here. They want to get back together with you. This could have been something about your home as well. Okay? Um, I don't know. Did they see? Maybe, um, or maybe they're seeing photos or something of you um, with someone else getting together with somebody else. I don't know what you posted, M having some kind of new beginning, I kind of get the sense that this person, they feel like an absolute fool. They're in love with you, okay? We got a lot of major arcana coming out. I've got the sun card, justice, the fool card, ace of pentacles, ace of cups. Uh, so this person's really going through it today. I feel like they... They want to get back together with you, um, or they may want to come home to you. There's something about home here with the Four of Wands. Like you've built some kind of solid foundation. Or they could have seen pictures of something here, okay? I'm kind of seeing this as a camera lens. I don't know why. I feel like you were posting something, some kind of pictures of you or whatever it is that you're doing, okay? And this person, it's got this person completely shaken up. 
I feel like they're very emotional today, okay? Um, feeling like an absolute fool. This is making this person a mess. What did you put out there? All right, so, um, yeah, it was something that's publicly exposed, okay? This is public exposure. This could be online. Um, I kid you not, maybe they're, they're seeing photos of you and you're absolutely stunningly beautiful. Like, this person can't take it. You're putting photos out there maybe of your new beginning or, um, yeah, they see you on some kind of glow up for sure. Maybe you're attracting the attention of, look at, a lot of people are looking at you, loving you. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, um, I feel like you're attracting a lot of attention to yourself, man. And this person is feeling defensive about that. It's like they know that you have other suitors or they know that um, that you're living your best life. You're on a major glow up. But they're, they're going to have to compete here or fight other people off of you. Because you're like, you've got everything. Ten of Pentacles. Um, this has some, maybe something to do with your home. Or it's maybe it's the amount of money you make. Um, you could be making really good money. Or like everything you touch is turning to gold. That's got this person really freaked out. They want to get back together with you, and they don't want anyone else noticing you, okay? They don't want anyone else around you, and they know you're being watched by others. You could have your own platform. Like, you could have, you could have another YouTube channel. You could have a website. You could have a blog or a vlog or whatever. <laughs> um, you could be posting photos on social media. I feel like they're looking at your photos but other people are looking at you too. This person may even be um, finding out that you're on a dating site. And it's got this person a mess. Like, they don't like this. Whatever this is, it's, it's, they don't like it. They can't stop thinking about you. Um, so this person is doing a lot of reminiscing about you. They're jealous. I feel like they're jealous. Um, you could have children with this person, but not necessarily. Yeah, they're jealous. Yes, that's a big yes. <laughs> yeah. Look at this, though. You've got um, three aces out in your reading already. Uh, three aces in all of this major arcana. And your person is, um, oh, boy, they're having a really bad day. They can't stop thinking about whatever this is that you put online or whatever communication this was. Um, they're really worried that you're attracting a lot of attention to yourself. They're, they're jealous about the amount of money you make, about what you have, about your glow up, about whatever you're putting out there on social media or the internet. All this person is thinking about is you. They're, I feel like they're going to have a lot of sleepless nights over this. Okay, yeah, look. I feel like you've got other options. This person could be watching you like on a dating site or something, and they're reading like comments, or they're looking at um, who's commenting on your stuff, whatever you're putting out there. They're seeing that there's a lot of people giving you love. Or um, you may have a lot of options around you. This person is going crazy. They're going crazy. Or this could be, with all of this exposure, this could be them maybe finally seeing something about your life. Or finally, because this could be illusions coming down, like them guessing what's going on with you or trying to like have some kind of you know, um, um, like, imagine what your life is like, and all of a sudden you put it out there and they see it, and they get instantly upset, okay? This person is, um, oh, they're just a, a mess. They're a hot mess today. You could be dealing with a Virgo and Aries. You could be dealing with 
a Taurus, honestly, it could be anybody. I've got all four, all three aces out here, or three aces. Um, it could be an air sign, earth sign, water sign, Virgo, Aries, maybe Libra. Wheel of Fortune, yeah, things are really um, happening for you, like good things, okay? You've got some major good things coming in your life. This could feel like a very lucky time in your life, even though it's really the universe delivering your blessings, okay? Yeah, this person is like they're witnessing how good you're doing, how much of a glow up you're on, maybe how much you've transformed. Okay, they're they're seeing your beauty, your abundance. Um, I don't know, maybe something about your home or this solid foundation that you've built. Okay, this could be like you having a platform and them like not checking on you for a long time and then coming on that your platform and all of a sudden you've grown like you like you're booming here. You know, it could be anything, right? And I feel like this person is really struggling. They may have a lot of, like, financial burdens right now. I'm getting the sense that they're feeling very burdened today because of what they found out about, uh, about your life. Okay? Yeah, I, I'm getting the sense that, what is this? Clarify that. This person, I feel like they're making a plan to come back in, okay? Because they want they want to come back. They want to try to sneak back in. I feel like that's correct. You could be dealing with a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like they see you as the one they want to be with. Now, you're the Queen of Pentacles. This could have something to do with your home. Like, you could have been, like, posting pictures of um, of you, your home, maybe your, um, you and your family, that kind of thing, okay? I don't know. It could even be just a job. Like, you could, you could have a business online, and they could be watching it just kind of, like, um, take off, okay? This person is kind of jealous of everything that you have everything, whatever you've created, and all these blessings coming in for you with the Wheel of Fortune. You, with the Wheel of Fortune and this pentacle in your hand, you could be headed towards huge success and a fortune, okay? I feel like they are thinking everything you touch turns to gold, all right? They're seeing you having this, like, Midas touch, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting. I don't know. I, I don't know what you put out on the internet, but it has got this person so flipping triggered. Okay? And they want to come back in, but they feel very stuck, like they can't. But this is definitely like having a um, an aha moment. Okay? This is like having um, an epiphany of what they left behind. This is them like seeing you in a whole new light. Okay, they're seeing you as a light worker. They're just seeing your light. They're seeing you um, in your power, right? They're seeing you on your path. They're seeing you having a glow up and it's got this person stuck. It's got them jealous. Um, it's got them up all night. Okay, thinking about all this, reviewing whatever you had on the internet, whatever you put out there, this person's like looking at it over and over and over again. Or if this was communication, they're like reading your text messages over and over again. I feel like it's something you put on the internet. Okay. Yeah, and they're seeing you in your glory. Oh my gosh, collective. You could be a... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on Virgo. You could be an Aquarius, a Leo, a Libra. Okay. <sighs> um, oh, yes. They're seeing you extremely abundant, happy, divinely led, right? Um, they're seeing you in your true power here. This is the Empress, right, in the minor. 
very abundant, stable, independent, driven, motivated, successful. They're seeing your success. They're seeing abundance coming in for you. Money, okay? Success, um, happiness, being in the spotlight. And they are so jealous. They're like, what? What? Yeah, they can't believe this. So this person now, they're like, oh man, I have to have the collective back. Yeah. So now they're kind of thinking about, strategically thinking about what you're going to say. Did you see how that rolled off my wrist? Um, I feel like at one point this person had you in a mental prison over them. Like you couldn't stop thinking about them. Like what's going on? Are they coming back around? Why did they hurt me? You know, was it something I did? I mean, they had you, they left you in this mental trap where maybe at one point you couldn't stop thinking about this, right? But in reverse, this thing came out in reverse. It rolled off my wrist into the reverse position. This is you setting yourself free from that mental prison. You're not thinking about them anymore. And I feel like that's what's got this person stuck. You're living your best life. Having this glow up, being abundant, happy, beautiful, successful, at peace, healed. And now they're stuck in their head about you. Okay? Now the roles are reversed. I feel like this person can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, they're feeling like a complete fool now. I don't know what you, whatever you put on the internet. Whatever you posted, it's got this person, holy cow, they're obsessed. They're obsessed, they're, um, they're, they have bad anxiety, they feel like a complete fool. They, um, it's got this person literally um, reeling over this. They can't stop thinking about it. I feel like they can't stop watching it or looking at it or whatever, reading whatever you've put out there. It's almost like they want more of it. They want to see more. They want to see more of you. You could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You're out here having a victory. I feel like after this, keep your moves hidden, collective, all right? This is you moving on silently. So I feel like keep your moves hidden now. This person, now they've seen that you're having a vi having this victory. I don't know, but spirit is like, you know what? Just keep everything else on the down low. As you move forward, they don't need to see everything else, you know? So keep your moves as hidden as you possibly can, right? But yeah, they see you having this victory and you're not focused on them. You're not thinking about them. You're not... You're no longer in a, in a mental prison over them, okay? Now they're nonstop thinking about you. Yep, and they're amazed because this person saw you in the Seven of Pentacles energy. They thought you were always going to be struggling, that you would always have an empty basket, working really hard maybe at a dead-end job, something like that, always wearing peasant clothing. Okay, this could very well be somebody who's talked about you behind your back, right? Other people whispering about you over here in the background. Um, so, you know what? I, I really get the sense that this person highly underestimated you because you really did flip on this person. All your hard work and effort has paid off. You put your focus into all the right things. You focused on yourself. You focused on your abundance. You focused on the things that you could control at the time. Because what, what this person did was left you in a state of, like, it was out of your control. But yet, at the same time, you were stuck in it. Okay, is that how it, it, it had to be how it felt? Like, out of your control, but absolutely stuck in the middle of all of it. And left with no answers, right? So what did you do? You focused on the things that you could control in your life. 
and you started working on improving those things and building yourself back up. And that's what you did here. You've transformed. This person thought of you as never having enough or um, like they kind of, I feel like they thought of you as kind of a joke, but you flipped into the Empress and this person, now they feel like a fool. They're losing sleep at night. They can't stop thinking about all of this. They're seeing you having this victory on a major glow up and leaving their butt behind. Okay? And it's got this person bugging. I'm telling you, you are about to get an apology from them. Okay? You are. But this person's coming to you as a page, and I know they're already jealous. You know, and I feel like now that you freed yourself from this prison, see, you, you break free from this and you put all of these swords point down in your boat. You're done with this. You're moving on. Okay, uh, now that you freed yourself, now they're in this mental prison. Okay, now they can't, yeah, now they can't let it go. They can't, they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about what you're posting online and what they're seeing about your life. They, I, this person is all up in your business, okay? But it's driving them bat-ish crazy. I'm telling you. And you're all peaceful, la la la, you know? <laughs> you're just floating right now. Um, you're very calm, very peaceful, very tuned into the divine, being divinely led, and you're listening, you're moving forward, okay? This person knows that you're, um, you may have some spiritual abilities. You could be another tarot card reader out here with your own platform, okay? They see you having this knowledge, and this knowledge and your abilities have taken you far, and they're really amazed by this, but they, at the same time, they're jealous of you, collective, okay? I don't know what you put out there, but it's got this person triggered big time. Um, let's see. So be expecting them to come and apologize. But here's the thing. They really just want to join you on your path. And not everyone can go where you're going. Not everyone can come with you into this next phase in your life. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like you're leaving this person behind. You're not speaking to them anymore. You're, um, I feel like from this point on, you'll keep your moves hidden. You know? You may see this person as a fool. And I, I feel like they know this. Everything is, wow. Whatever you put out there, has, it's, it blew them away. Okay? It blew them away. Yeah, it's, it may have something to do with your home. <sighs> I keep getting that. I kept getting that off of the Four of Wands, okay? Your solid foundation, your home. You could have re recently purchased a new home or, or a rented a new apartment, something like that. And I feel like maybe you've moved away from this person because um, this is kind of like being isolated, so they feel that distance as well, like they can't come back home. Or that maybe that's what it is, they want to come back home. I feel like you've gotten a new home, because with the five here, that's a change. A change in location, or they see you moving away, this is driving them crazy. It is, it's, tri it's, driving, them, it's driving them nutty, okay? Yeah, I feel like you're being moved to a new location. It just feels like traveling to a new location, being divinely led. Right? Yeah, starting something new, a new phase in your life. You've got your crown on, too. So you've been crowned, anointed, celebrated by the 5D. Okay? You're leaving this person behind and you're entering into a new phase in your life that's going to be abundant and beautiful. It's beautiful, happy, okay? And it's because you're listening. You go by the book. You do what you're told by the divine, you know? Um, you listen and trust your intuition. 
Yeah, and this person, I feel like, honestly, I feel like you're going in different directions. You're being blessed out here with love, love from others, money, possibly a new soulmate connection coming in for you. And I feel like this person feels stuck. They just feel stuck. There's a lot of blockages in their life or they've created a blockage in between you and this connection that they can't come back in from. You know, and yeah, I feel like you are going to get an apology. I feel like this person now, they can't get you off of their mind. It's driving them bonkers. So they're going to come in and they're going to apologize to you, but um, I feel like you're done. You're already being led in a new direction. You're I feel like you're moving away. That's what it feels like to me. Building a new solid foundation. And that's what I felt off of this card. Okay? This is a new solid foundation. This is like a new home. All right? Or maybe a new family situation. You may have somebody new in your life. I know new love is coming in quickly here with all of these the hearts that are in this treasure chest. You're about to get new love quickly, ha <laughs> ha as I say that, very quickly. Okay, so you have new love coming in that's gonna, that's gonna wanna go the distance with you. They're gonna wanna build this with you, okay? So get ready for new love, more abundance, um, blessings coming in. This is a whole new phase in your life, and it's going to be like a night and day difference collective. It is. But you deserve this new beginning. You've made it through judgment. You've been crowned. So, yeah, um, get ready for all of this. Holy cow. Um, I feel like it's going to start moving very quickly. It may even make you feel exhausted. There's going to be a lot of changes in your life that you're going to need to be flexible with, okay? Because we're at the end to a cycle here with a 10, and your new life is about to start. Yeah, this person from your past, I feel like they're going to come and see you. They're going to come and give you an apology. But I really do feel like it's too late. You know, see, they're coming in to tell the truth, to give you an apology, a confession, but I feel like you already have new love coming in going to be a game changer with a five yes time's up time is up on this last cycle with this um this person from your past it's time for a new life so spirit is like let that last thing end um there's like nothing left to it this is death and regeneration when one door closes another one opens now this connection here it's um it's run its course it's done Okay, time's up on this, right? So that needs to end, but there's something new bubbling up from underneath. That's this new love coming in fast. Very fast. Okay, so yeah, get ready for all the new stuff coming in your new life and get ready for an apology from this past person, okay? Okay.